Oh, dear burger. Oh, shut up, drive. Now, my next guest, Tony Walker, was one of the original 14 children from the groundbreaking 7-Up documentary back in 1964. It was designed to explore the British class system. What was originally meant to be just one episode became a series that revisited those very same children every seven years. Well, tonight it returns once again, would you believe, for 63 Up. Tony was brought up in the east end of London. At 14, he was already an apprentice at Tommy Gosling's racing stable at Epsom. Do you regret not making it? Well, I would have given my white arm at the time to become a jockey. But now, well, I wasn't good enough. Ah, well, Tony joins me now. It's remarkable. I feel as if I know you so well because I've watched you over the years and you've got this... This amazing, it's almost like, it's an amazing archive that you've got of your life. It still makes me well up when I just see that clip, I oh, still think, and mum and, and dad. Boy, I know. And um, obviously, um, they're swimming in my ears all the time, the smells of the horse, the stable, the, all the horses that I knew at the time. Mm. It was the greatest days of my life, Elaine. And, you uh, loved that, didn't you? You it was absolutely the best, loved it. The best. Then when it's be a cabbie, and weirdly, I feel as if you're almost at the heart of this story, because... You've met so many different people. Yeah. But also, there's the connection with all of the other children who've grown up. Well, who find themselves in the back of your cab, coincidentally. Believe it or not, our, our dear Lynn, who, who sadly, you know, um, not here no more. I picked her up in Docklands when she was working there. Amazing. I picked John, the barrister, up yeah. in uh, my cab in um, Heathrow Airport. <laughs> I picked Neil up walking along the Acne Road. I took him home for a tea of sandwich. Incredible. And Michael, I met the, the director in Starbucks in Victoria, <laughs> and it just keeps following me around. It's, it's unbelievable. astonishing. And also, though, you, you had Buzz Aldrin in the back of your car. Well, I did have Buzz Aldrin in the car. <laughs> and, and the best thing about it, coming out of um, the Grosvenor Hotel in uh, Park Lane, as I turned left, I heard, can you get his autograph? I thought, yeah, I'll do that, mate, you know. He's going to see Obama at the time in Winfield House. Yeah. Where Trump is going today, I think. And what happened was, I said, Mr. Aldrin, can I have your autograph? He said, no, 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 I don't want his autograph. I want your autograph. <laughs> I thought, you're joking. This, this <laughs> is, it was the second man to land on the moon. Well, that's pretty cool, isn't it's it? Cool. That's pretty cool. And you've done some acting as well. Yeah, I've been in a good film called uh, 90 Minutes in the last uh, four months. Rio Ferdinand produced it. Simon Baker directed it. Wow. A fantastic up-and-coming director. I'll suggest you look out for him. And also, um, I had a great um, premiere in uh, the East End of London in the Genesis Theatre in Mile End. Fantastic. It's a football sort of um, uh, film, but not about football. It's all sort of stories amongst right. the uh, team. Fantastic. You've had such an amazing life, and you've got, as you said, I mean, you're a grandfather now. Six. And your, but your grandchildren, I mean, their, their children yeah. will, will be able to look and see these amazing, yeah. amazing pieces of television and chart how your life has gone. I'm looking at that seven-year-old kid. Oh. And I'm looking at my 28-year-old son when I got my badge. And, you know, it's all there. It's all in my head and uh, formulated as a type of life that I've, you know, got the memories. Yeah. But when I'm gone, the children now, my grandchildren, it's everyone who knows me, who are generations behind can just press the video button and uh, they can sort of see their ears and that's how it all started. It's a real pioneering show, a real pioneering yeah. show. I mean, before they ever thought about reality shows, this was... It's not like, a reality show. It's not. I mean, some of the reality shows, they pretended they were. I mean, they yeah. said Big Brother was a socialist experiment. They say yeah. Love Island is. It's not. Um, but yours really was. But this is really an old, uh, old-fashioned documentary. Yeah, this is Graham Roots, uh, you know, mm -hmm. and... Uh, it happened by accident, the second one. Uh, apparently, Michael Acted was in the uh, canteens of the Granada Studios at the time, and Derek Foreman, who was uh, the head of the uh, controller from Granada at that time, asked Michael what he'd be doing, you know, in the next couple of years. He said, why don't you go back to them children that you filmed in 1964? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And he thought, oh, that's a good idea. And he took a film camera uh, production team, and he went out and filmed us, and that's where it was born. So do you think it's going to be a 70 up in seven years? Well, if uh, Michael, Claire and the production team are uh, mine and spirit, I think there will be a 70 And you'll up. definitely be there right, be at the definitely. right at the heart of it, right at the heart of it, Tony. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a very proud member of it. I member think... of, the, of the old, uh, 
the absolute, you know, oh, it's, it's a great testament to the production team. I'm great to see you. You're a tonic, you are. I'm glad, that's right. <laughs> I'm glad I made you laugh. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep Thank doing you what you're right. doing. And 63 up, it starts tonight. It's on tonight, ITV at 9 o'clock. Oh, Not yeah. to be missed. And I'm looking forward to working <laughs> to 70 up. Right, after the break, Catherine Kelly tells me advice her former colleague.